it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today is a very big day because I finally have now brought Tiana in the kingdom. Well, Princess Tiana. But first, we have got to bring Ursula back. So this is actually going to be the last time we are going to see her welcome screen because she is a level 10. Have we got a deal? Oh, I'm gonna miss the dialogue with her. I really, really am. Oh, there was so much of it, and it was so much fun during the Little Mermaid event, but that is it for now. So pretty much, guys, I only have a few Little Mermaids characters left to max out, so kind of a big deal right now. Kind of a big deal to finally sort of have that all sort of done. That'll be a huge milestone for me, uh, just because that'll be the second limited time event collection that I will have totally maxed out. So I'm really, really excited for that. Um, so I'm just gonna talk to you guys throughout this video a little bit about the drop rates for Tiana for me. I know some of you guys are able to bring her in quite quickly, and honestly, I have been setting timers, I have been getting up in the middle of the night, I have been doing everything possible to try and get Tiana in, and it took me a lot longer than I expected. Um, Tiana's now been out a couple of days, and yeah, I just, her token drops are really bad. Not so much her beignets but her ears hat so i'm going to be showing you guys some of the drops sort of throughout this video but here is charlotte labeouf i totally love her welcome screen it's my absolute favorite from the entire event just wish she had that big pink ball gown charlotte labeouf is now level two wow well, isn't this just the bee's knees oh it totally is and you look absolutely Stunning! I can't wait until DMK adds one of her costumes into this game. There's no way that they won't at some point. That welcome screen is just going to be way too perfect for that costume when it comes out. I think I will intentionally not max out Charlotte just because I want to wait to see if Disney Magic Kingdoms actually puts out that costume at some point. Now, again, um, if they come out with that welcome back sort of uh, welcome screen that when your characters are maxed out, you'll be able to just click it so you can actually see the welcome screen again, then I would totally max her out. But I think because she's gonna have a costume at some point and that welcome screen is gonna be too perfect with it, I need to save it. <laughs> but here is Mushu back into the kingdom and he's already a level eight. Ha <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, really have to go crazy when you think of Mushu, because Eddie Murphy, he's a little bit hyper with his voice. I mean, I don't have a uh, black male's voice or anything like that, because I am not um, a male, but you know what? Uh, I'm giving it a go. <laughs> All right, so uh, now basically, guys, with the Little Mermaid characters, I just want to talk about this too, is that I just need enough seashells. So I think I've got all the character tokens down that I need to max out everybody, but unfortunately, I am going to need like hundreds of seashells. It is absolutely crazy. And of course, 24 hours to level them up. Now, Charlotte LaBeouf, super easy to collect for. Tiana, not so much. Charlotte LaBeouf is now level three. <laughs> Thank you, Evening Star. <laughs> I should have been a little bit more gruff on that one, but that was awesome. I love Charlotte in my kingdom, and especially when she has dialogue. She's like, hey, girl, hey, pick me. <laughs> you know, besides visiting Tia at work and parades each year, I never really spend much time in the cold, huh? Until lately, all that business Tia got into, well, it showed me that there's a lot to New Orleans I've been missing out on. It's not all croquet and cotillions, you know. And sometimes you've got to get out of the garden district to see it. Just so long as you're not looking at the streetcar map upside down, I've learned that the hard way. New point of view, send Charlotte to explore near the Emporium. So guys, what do you think of my Charlotte Le 
buff voice impersonation. Um, it's a little bit better than it was during my live stream. I had a little tiny bit of a cold um, while I was doing that, so I found it a little bit difficult to do my impressions. I still really want to do them, but as the stream sort of went on and we got to unlocking her, I was definitely a little bit of uh, a mess. I mean, I'd like to say I still looked okay and nobody noticed that I was a bit under the weather, but that's the reality, guys. So now that I've got Charlotte's voice sort of, I think, back to normal, I think pretty much the cold is uh, gone. I think my voice and my impersonations will be better. So hopefully you guys definitely um, enjoy it. Now, guys, uh, there is still the radiant chest you guys can open to try and collect Tiana's ears hats, um, especially, I mean, there's decorations and a whole bunch of other stuff too, like currency and gumbo and stuff. Um, but if you are still collecting for Tiana, this is definitely a great way to do it. And it's just for gems. So it's not too bad, actually. And it's only 25. It's not like 60, like legendary chests, which is are absolutely ridiculous. So open your chest now for lots of character tokens and hopefully Tiana's ears hat. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Fingers crossed. I'm so scared to tap it right now. <gasps> oh, gumbo token. Okay, so that'll be useful. I thought it was going to give me that cream soda concession. It looked like it was right there when I tapped, but unfortunately it's not. So i uh, still working on trying to get that concession stand at this point. Um, and Tiana, as I said, Tiana was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, yes, I know her character token drops were epic and stuff, but uh, the worst thing was the beignets came super quickly. And then I basically just like was waiting around for these ears hats to drop. And I didn't know which quests were gonna be better because like Lottie, so Charlotte and uh, Naveen can go together or doing them separate. And I was like, I don't know which is gonna be better. Like. They both collect it and stuff. So I tried doing a whole bunch of different things to try and make this work. And I got impatient and decided I was just gonna level up some other of the Princess and the Frog characters while I waited because I had so much gumbo, it was ridiculous. Eudora is now level eight. Thank you kindly. Wow, she is a level eight, guys. Insanity. And yeah, so at this point, Tiana is only two years hats away, and you guys can tell by the time at the bottom of my screen how ridiculous this is taking. Like, it's super long, and anyways, I leveled up Prince Naveen in the meantime, because I, again, got frustrated and had too much gumbo. Prince Naveen is now level eight. Ashitanza! And he's an eight, too, so I've got two characters from this event already at an eight. So I'm actually pretty happy. If those two don't level up anymore, um, I don't really mind because they've both been amazing, Eudora and Prince Naveen. I think once Tiana comes in the kingdom, I'll be definitely focusing more on Tiana and Charlotte uh, trying to get leveled up. I'm gonna kind of leave Lewis now too. I don't really think he needs to level up anymore. Um, at least at this point. And Gumbo 2 is going to need to be saved for Dr. Facilier, um, as well as Tiana to level her up and stuff, and Charlotte. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that. I want them at least at like a four. Yeah, at least at a four. Maybe a five would be nice too. Charlotte may only get to like a three, four, but um, Tiana I would definitely like at like a four four or five if I can manage it. Now it depends on what her comfy cozy costume is going to need as well. So we will sort of have to wait and see on that. I know we've got the fabric. I'm sure we're going to get the glitch fabric and then her comfy fabric. So uh, that at least is going to be two fabrics. I'm like 90% sure that we are going to need. But we will, again, just have to wait and see if we need to collect anything else. Like maybe it'll be gumbo. So... Again, it might be a good thing to just hold on to that for now. All right, so another radiant chest and no Tiana's ears hats. Like, I wasn't even asking for a decoration or a concession. I just wanted Tiana's ears hats. So a little bit frustrating. Um, yeah, again, I just need two more at this point and it was just ridiculous. I got lucky though, did get the drops and Tiana did manage to be ready and again four hours needs to go by so it's 50 gumbo 15 beignets 14 ears hats and 11,000 currency and four hours of my precious time so i definitely had a four hour nap guys i'm not gonna lie before um 
and Tiana came back into the kingdom. I was like, oh, yay, okay, I'm going to sleep now. I don't care what my characters do. I'm just leaving my kingdom alone because I worked way too hard to get those. So um, I'm assuming, though, my characters like are going to need to collect more first so she can be a level two. And hopefully that will happen by the time she is ready to be welcomed into the kingdom. But again, you know, my, my luck with that. So hopefully the drops are a lot better for her sort of going forward to level her up. That would be really nice. So, oh, there is one of her ears hats right now. Okay, so that I'm pretty sure is going to mean I'm going to be able to level her up. It's probably only going to be like one or two that I'll need. So when she is ready, uh, that's going to be good. And beignets, again, they're rare, but they drop super easy. Um, I think I also, too, because I got beignets in my raiding chest, I didn't actually need to collect them for my characters. I was like, why am I sending them out? It doesn't make any sense. They're going out, and I know the times and stuff like that, because I posted on my blog about the times and stuff like that, and the quest for each of the, um, the characters for the spoilers sort of before she was um, officially released to us. And so I was following that, and so they were going out to get beignets, and I was like, oh maxed out on beignets so she managed to get that just from those radiant chests not many of yours hats but a lot of beignets so she is good probably to level up to a two or a three with beignets that's for sure <laughs> depending on how many we need but that's okay so i'm assuming when we bring her in though there's going to be a lot of dialogue so that is something i'm looking forward to i don't know how much but i'm assuming it's gonna be a lot because um, I'm gonna try and level her up to a level two and that should hopefully unlock at least the comfy cozy costume at the very least I don't think it's gonna be right away when we welcome her but I could be wrong on that um, especially just because they might want to make it a little bit easier for us before they give us the uh, next attraction which is gonna be Mama Odie's boat in the tree in the bayou, right? <laughs> so anyways, that's not what it's called, but the boat in the tree in the bayou that belongs to Mama Odie needs to be built, so I'm gonna have to make some space for that too uh, when it comes time, which is something that new players need to make sure that they do is have a section um, in their kingdom uh, that they know they can take attractions or whatever concessions out pretty easily, especially attractions because characters go to them and then you can't actually like you know, take them out without using gems because they're already busy in it. So make sure that you at least, if you're having attractions out that you want to put away, make sure nobody's actually in them. It'll just really, really save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle, which is definitely something that I learned very, very early on when I started playing this game, that when I made that mistake once or twice, I realized I was never gonna make it again. Always either leave a section in your kingdom sort of empty for that sort of stuff, fill it with concessions, or make sure that you don't send your characters to an attraction, again, that you are gonna need to remove. So um, again, it has happened to me like once a couple months ago that I was like, oh, it was for my main storyline though which wasn't a big, big deal, but uh, for limited time event, it's limited time. It's very, very important to be on top of these things. All right, here is Tiana, and this is her welcome screen. Yay! Hi! Oh, she blew us a kiss, guys. She blew us a kiss. Naveen! Oh, I'm so glad to see... Uh, wait, Mama? But what are you doing here? said the girl trapped behind a secret door in some con artist's sitting room. Oh, Eudora's mad. <laughs> right. Quest complete. Welcome a restauranter. I love saying that word. Restauranter. Would you believe me if I told you it's a long story? Oh no, is she actually gonna tell Eudora? Cause I know she hasn't told Eudora yet, like exactly what happened to her. And I'm sure Eudora's gonna question her wardrobe maybe at some point. I mean, she is a seamstress. She might notice she's wearing this beautiful dress. Congratulations, you've completed the Princess and the Frog collection, 20 gems. Guys, I will never say no to 20 gems. So this is a huge bonus for getting to the point of welcoming Tiana into your kingdom. You get gems and we all love Free gems. So here she is walking around my kingdom now and she's got more dialogue, but it's Cinderella? I'm so excited. Tiana has been busy with something new on the internet for weeks, but now 
She's finally coming back to us. I always miss my friends when they're gone, but I'm happy when they can debut in something that's just for them. I wasn't prepared for Cinderella's voice today, but this is good. I love this. I can't wait for Tiana to tell me all about it. Welcome an off-duty chef. Get Tiana's comfy costume. Guys, we can actually get it right away when she's welcome to the kingdom. We can start collecting for it. So huge, huge bonus, except it's in 24 hours from now. Dun, dun, dun. So, okay, well, the way I look at it is, guys, is you have another 24 hours to go ahead and collect for Tiana to at least try and welcome her before her costume is officially released to us. So it's unlocked, but it's now gonna be officially released to us tomorrow. Baby Cakes, you know I trust you, but I've also been around long enough to know when you're hiding something. Boston! <laughs> oh my gosh, Eudora's got Tiana on this one. And so long as you're safe and happy, that's your business. But now, with you and Naveen in trouble. Well, whatever it is, just know that I can handle hearing about it. Mama, oh, okay. Uh, how do I put this? Mm -mm, a very long story. Send Tiana and Eudora to try and clear things up. Yeah. That's gonna be complicated to explain. Hey mom, I turned into a frog for a week. That's why I couldn't talk to you and I fell in love with this prince while he was a frog. And you know, we tried to get Charlotte to kiss him back to being a prince, that failed, and then I had to marry him and as a frog. Anyway, super messy to try and explain. Honey, I know you lead a busy life and all, but we really need to talk about that dress. Oh, right, this dress. Well, uh, when you didn't ask about it last year, I just figured that... Tiana, baby, I've been a seamstress since before you were born. If you think I was never the least bit curious how that thing is put together, then one of us needs their head examined. This is getting good, guys. Cat fight. <laughs> kind of. Okay, really minor cat fight, but still. <laughs> good point. How is it made? Send Eudora and Tiana to examine Tiana's dress. I would like to know how it's made as well. So this is going to be actually very interesting. Yeah, who technically made it? Is it Mama Odie who's responsible for this? I don't know, because technically they both should have kind of transformed back into their original outfits that they got. Well, actually, no, they couldn't have because that was left on the floor. So I have no idea how what they would have come out in. Tiana is now level two. Every little bit of hard work counts. That it does, Tiana, and you have worked very hard to get to a level two. Well, it was even harder bringing you in here, but I guess I should have expected that. I had to work just as hard to get you into the kingdom as you have worked to get to where you are, which is in my kingdom. <laughs> Naveen and I thought we'd dust off our old formal clothes for this costume ball we're planning. It really did seem like a good idea at the time, but after an hour or two, well... All I'm saying is, I'd give a lot for a nice day dress, a crochet, and a pair of Mary Janes right now. I take it she wants to get comfy. Still, it does bring back good memories and a few new ideas for them nights at the palace, too. Oh. 
Life of the party. That's kind of hard to believe that that's Tiana, but send Tiana to brainstorm new ideas. I think Naveen is always going to be the life of the party. Face the reality. <laughs> that is something we can pretty much guarantee, guys. Okay, so I got to figure out what quest Tiana's actually got to go on. She's got two kingdom quests right now. Uh, so, oh, Naveen. Tiana, darling, forgive my exuberance, but I have just seen the most sensational new dance step straight from New York. Now, as with all good dances, it can't be done without a partner, so... <laughs> Why, Prince Mavane, I'm sure I don't know what you're driving at. Maybe you should just give me a demonstration, hmm? Oh, are we gonna get a demonstration of them dancing? That would be super cool. Oh, so that is how it is, eh? Well, far be it from me to rob you of an educational experience. Come, put your feet like so. Five, six, seven, eight. Send Naveen and Tiana to try a new dance step. Oh, it sounds like they're gonna be doing something really fun. Naveen's busy. Of course he's busy. What did I expect? And I'm thinking this is a side quest anyways. Tiana, Lottie, she'll want to know about everything that's been going on. I have to tell her. I know, there's a lot she'll never understand about what happened to me last year. Or, well, uh, about a lot of other things. Like, what? <laughs> but she really does care. And if she hears I'm in trouble, then even help anyone standing in her way. Put it that way. And I almost feel bad for the Shadow Man. She feels bad for the Shadow Man? Oh my goodness. Look out. Charlotte Buff is loose. A friend in need. Send Charlotte and Tiana to catch up. Oh, that's perfect. That is seriously perfect. Because we then are going to get more dialogue between these two awesome girls. Which I'm super duper excited about. Because they are, like, honestly the best. And I think since they're, like, the best friends, I love sort of having that sort of best friend um, in the kingdom. That is one thing with, like someone like Ariel is that she doesn't like she has her fish friend but she has no like human best friend so it's kind of hard like they all have a best friend I guess everybody basically in every collection like even from our main storyline but still you know it's just I feel that someone like Ariel needs like a new best friend and I think that if they have some sort of dialogue at some point to be able to get uh uh, Ariel and maybe the, I don't know, Charlotte to become friends or something. I think that would be loads of fun. And Charlotte would love nothing more than to teach someone like Ariel all about human stuff. And it would kind of give Charlotte probably a new hobby, which I think she kind of needs. So something like that could be really fun in the future if they did stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. I think it would be great. And just think of it. Lottie has got a great wardrobe. And if they ever decide to build the LaBeouf's mansion, you know what? I don't think there would be a problem with that. It would probably be a huge attraction. But uh, it would definitely be worth it if we can have, uh, I think, more storyline and stuff with that in the future. And if we get Mr. LaBeouf. Gosh, I have so many ideas at Disney Magic Kingdoms to do. It is insane. If they ever run out of ideas about what to do with this game, I think. They should just pass the game over to me, and I think I would have it totally covered. Except for all the graphic details, and the digital stuff, and... <laughs> yeah, so maybe not everything, but there would be... I think if they need an idea person, I'm your girl, Disney girl, pick me! <laughs> Anyways, okay, back to this. Tiana is off on her quest right now uh, to 
sort of unlock the next part of our storyline. So we will have to wait for that. I can't wait because probably in the next video we are going to be doing more dialogue between Charlotte and Tiana, which is going to be great. Actually, we haven't had any, so it wouldn't be more. It's just start dialogue between the two of them, which is going to be absolutely super fun. And you know Lottie's going to do most of it. So obviously I'm going to love doing it for you guys. So more voice impressions to come. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have thought about my voice impressions so far with this limited time event. Today we didn't get to hear everybody from princess and the frog but if you guys have seen my other videos you will have heard mama odie's and lewis's already so hopefully you guys have enjoyed all of that and if you guys have missed anything make sure you guys subscribe to my channel check it out hit that little bell for post notifications especially if you are new and don't forget to check out my other channel potter girl which i am posting lots of things to do with harry potter i'm starting with harry potter hogwarts mystery um, i'm planning to play wizards unite and maybe some Harry Potter and Lego on there at some point and there'll be sort of theories like I've got lots of plans for it right now DMK is the main focus but if you guys want to head over there and check it out check out my baby channel then that would be much appreciated also guys don't forget to give this video a big Mickey thumbs up to show your support to the channel all right so thanks everybody for watching and we will see you guys for the next dreams do come true video bye